Hello, wine exchangers. Come drink a wine with us. We're drinking the Joseph Phelps 2019 Pinot Noir. Uh, Kyle, what makes this wine interesting to you? You said Pinot Noir really well. Do I really? That's pro. That's Pinot Noir. Pinot, Pinot, Pinot Noir. Noir. That's you know. That's yeah. It's kind of pro. Wow. Yeah. I'm practicing. Yes. Why is this wine special? Well, okay. Think uh, Peter Michael, Kistler, Rocchioli, Aubert. They're all pretty good Pinot Noir producers, right? Pretty, yeah. Most people consider those guys the best. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. The Ne Plus Ultra, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, oh my God, the offer to get off the waiting list to get on the mailing list for this Pinot Noir is here. Those are gonna be the guys that you're gonna be like filling it out and putting your credit card in and sending it in because you don't want to lose your spot. Right. Well, this wine mm -hmm. does what those wines do Add. for half the third price. Yep. There you go. So, yeah, this is the Phelps Pinot Noir Freestone Vineyards, and in fact, the matter is Joseph Phelps. They've they're one of the secondary pioneers, I'd say, mm -hmm. in this in neck of the woods, this Occidental Freestone area. There were a couple cats out there before them, but the guys that were probably a little less serious or happened onto it accidentally, or were hippies that were looking for places to grow weed. And um, what happened is is Phelps was one of the first of the second round of guys that planted vineyards in the late 90s mm -hmm. and thought, okay, we've got great potential here because, you know, Joseph Phelps, the man himself, he dug Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. You know, they always tried to make really good Pinot Noir in Napa mm -hmm. back in the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. The problem is Napa was a crappy place to make Pinot Noir. Right, right. And they finally just gave up the ghost and acknowledged, hey, this isn't going to work here. Yeah. Um, so they they realized, they're kind of following through on Joseph Phelps' original dream of having great Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. um, so they went to this area to do it and the results are fantastic. Guys, yeah. taste this wine. Yeah. No, I, okay. Now on, on the nose, you know, I get this uh, uh, for California Pinot, uh, you know, there's a there's a real floral, you know, aspect to it, which uh, is very sort of on brand, you know, very varietally correct with Pinot Noir. You know, sometimes with California Pinots, you do get a lot of density and it's like, hey, is this a Cabernet Lovers Pinot Noir? I, mm -hmm. I would say, no, this is a true Pinot Noir because there's a vibrant, lively lightness on the nose. Yeah. Floral, a little bit of black tea, but mm -hmm. beautiful fruit, uh, you know, a little bit of citrus, you know, mm -hmm. gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. nose. Yeah. yeah, see, I mean, it's cool, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it, it, and this goes back to what you're saying, you know, Napa's a hot place, you, mm -hmm. you just can't, you know, our, I mean, Carneros, it's, but even then, that's kind of changing. But, you know, this area is, like super cool, like he was talking before. Yeah. I mean, a bunch of hippies, you know, growing weed and stuff like that because uh, you can't grow grapes here. It's too, right. too cold, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Things are anymore. changing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. For yeah. the better. Yeah, no, I think this wine embodies that classic sweet and savory mm -hmm. aspect that we look for, you know, in the mm -hmm. wines of Burgundy, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason all these top-notch guys went out to the Sonoma Coast is because they knew what was happening there. Mm -hmm. They knew they could produce wines of this caliber. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing is, is getting in early, having a bunch of your own vineyard, mm -hmm. And they're not jacking people around on the price. Right. Now that being said, Phelps does sell a bunch of like single vineyard and this and that and stuff that's like 90 bucks, two and a quarter. Yeah. The point is, the base vineyard that they have now here is the original one planted in the same neck of the woods as all the other hitters, mm. 20 year old vines. And Phelps is almost forced to make an entry level mm -hmm. Pinot Noir, if you mm. will. Yeah. So they're kind of stuck declassifying in the context of Literai or William, yeah. whatever, declassifying a piece to make this wine as wow. the opportunity wine, as kind of like the, the gateway drug for people to get into their higher end wines. So we're really fortunate that they're kind of stuck doing this yeah. um, because it creates an opportunity for one of the greatest values in California Pinot Noir on the market. 96 points wine advocate, which really? is, we, we don't talk scores very often, but literally wow. it's the same I, I score. I didn't know that, 96 points. We usually don't talk wow. scores. We're not, okay. we don't play that too hard. Yeah. But literally the same score as the single vineyard wines from Aubert, Literai, Rocchioli, blah, 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 blah. And the price is the price. One of okay. the greatest deals in domestic Pinot Noir, high end on the market today, the Joseph Phelps Freestone mm -hmm. Vineyards 2019 Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir. Get yourself some. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>